Hey guys, Aquaqua here. I'm going to show you how to use Fraps Benchmark Viewer today. Uh, you'll need Fraps Benchmark Viewer and Fraps to get these things done. Uh, they're real simple to do and uh, they're kind of cool. I'm going to use Valley as an example and uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to click on FPS first and I'm going to choose F11 as my key and I'm going to choose just frame times. Uh, I'm going to stop the benchmark after 60 seconds because I don't want to have to upload a big, great big video and uh, it'll automatically uh, do it by itself. Uh, we're going to use Valley, so I'm going to move uh, my fraps over to my other monitor and start Valley. does work in uh, DX12 you just won't have the uh, on-screen display up there in the corner uh, but it does uh, capture everything except the video I'm not sure about uh, screenshots uh, you can use shadow play if you have uh, Nvidia cards they do have uh, DX12 All right, and we'll start to benchmark and then wait a few seconds and then hit a F11 and it'll run about a minute and we'll check it out. Uh, you will see the on-screen display will disappear and then it'll pop back up when it's done. It's finished. Uh, we can uh, go ahead and exit out of the uh, benchmark. All right, now you just open your uh, Fraps Benchmark Viewer. By default, it should open up your Fraps folder where uh, the CV, uh, CSV files or, or CVS files, whichever one it is, are, are located. CSV, uh, you want to grab that, grab that, damn it, grab, grab that and just drag it right onto the viewer, give it a second, there it is, there's actually your average FPS as well, here are your frame times, this is uh, what you really want to look for in anything that you're playing, uh, this indicates that this is a well-optimized uh, benchmark. Valley is. Uh, if you want FPS, you can click on the FPS button up here. And that shows you your FPS. Kind of a neat little program. Um, try it out on your card. Let's, let's see what happens. Uh, if you have any questions, just give me a yell.